Why you guys about to react to a new video? Whoopi Goldberg and Sonny Hilson got into it about Kamala Harris. I need you guys to stick along to the back end of the video to see what I have to say about it. But right now, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. As always, let me know what to react to. We're about to get right to it. Our vice president, uh, Vice President Harris, was saying things like, you know what, we have so many disadvantaged um, uh, Americans here. There is such a racial wealth gap. Let's give disadvantaged people um, uh, an opportunity to even the playing field. She said that was Marxism. She also dismissed uh, our vice president's uh, qualifications by claiming that Joe Biden clearly decided that he was going to make a choice based on somebody's gender, based on their race, and based on his need to placate the very far socialist left of his party. Listen, she also listen, voted against... But this is... But this is... I know, but we've only got four minutes. This is not the savior of democracy. It's not the savior, but look, we were talking about a brave woman in Moscow. Of course, but it's not the savior. Of course, but look, we were talking about a brave woman in Moscow. This is on obviously a smaller level because her life is not at stake. But what she's doing is brave because she is going against her own her own people. That doesn't mean that I would vote for her or that you would. Wealthy woman. She comes from a wealthy family. How brave is it to go against the democracy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's two different things. Whether she's wealthy or not is has nothing. But it nothing. matters. Wait, no, not to me. It doesn't but matter to me what. what hold on, I just oh, want to yeah. tell you what matters to me, you and then I'll time. shut up. You have time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. what, what matters to me is that someone from that end of the rope said, "You know, this is not okay. Yeah. This is not okay. I can fight about our ideals back and forth, but when you." poop on the country and say that a lie is the truth, that what we're talking about isn't important, mm -hmm. and somebody stands up and says, listen, listen, I know you don't like what I'm saying, but I'm going to stand up and say it. I have to, I have to give, I'm, you know, she, I'd never vote for her. Right. She I'm not going to change her, direction, but I can appreciate somebody who stands up and says, you know what, this isn't right, and I do see that the emperor's not wearing clothes. But I, she, what she I, voted against giving Americans $2,000 during the you're COVID missing, you're pandemic. Missing, uh, I, I think I you can have point, all the things that you don't but like she is about not her, the savior but this is, of what, democracy. No, that, but it's not about that's, Nobody's talking that's about that's a savior. I'd say this. I mean, and I think these are valid points. One thing, yeah, I Wyoming. Know valid. I know I, you know they're valid points. Um, yeah. Wyoming is not going to elect a, a Democrat that represents your values and Kamala Harris's. I think she's probably the. My best. values are American values. Yes, yes. I know. I agree. They are. But I don't think you're going to get a liberal Democrat in Wyoming. I think for the state and for the shared values that people like you and I have, mm -hmm. she's the best bet. The other thing I would say, and this can't go unnoticed, people like Liz Cheney, people like my myself and others who've spoken out against Donald Trump, we get death threats. We've all gotten mm -hmm. them. And I guarantee you she's gotten way more than I have. So there's an, a level of bravery that she's showing that can't go dismissed just because she wants to stand up for the democratic process. Well, here's the thing. There are, I know it's going to shock everyone, but there are Democrats in Wyoming. Wow, guys, I don't even know where to start. The hosts on this show are like the biggest contradictions ever. We go, but says she likes someone that could stand up and say, this isn't right. But aren't they just on the show just bullying Trump most of the time? They don't even want to say this name. Then Sonny Hostin says the craziest statement of all time. My values are American values. That is like the biggest sack of... I can't say that on here. Man, let me know what you guys think about the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.